Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise is dealing with criticism after a video was released showing him in the room as top lawmakers called for troops to be brought in to stop the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Since then, Scalise and other Republicans have attacked Democrats, suggesting they didn't do enough. Mike McDaniel explains. It's this video of congressional leaders huddled together during the January 6th insurrection that's putting a spotlight on Louisiana Republican Steve Scalise. We need active duty National Guard. Political leaders scramble to protect the Capitol as rioters break in. In this video, released by the House Committee investigating the attack, lawmakers called the Department of Defense, asking for military action. This cannot be just we're waiting for so-and-so. We need them there now, whoever you got. More than a year later, Scalise and fellow Republicans have suggested Speaker Pelosi didn't do enough, despite Scalise being just feet away from her that day. Back in June, Indiana Republican Congressman Jim Banks raised several questions, including whether the Speaker was involved in a delay to get National Guardsmen to the Capitol. Scalise then said this. Jim Banks just raised some very serious questions that should be answered by the January 6th Commission, but they're not. And they're not for a very specific reason, and that's because Nancy Pelosi doesn't want those questions to be answered. A press secretary for Scalise told Eyewitness News the congressman's statement was not about what happened January 6th, but rather what happened before it. She points to comments Scalise made last summer. What kind of intelligence did Speaker Pelosi get early off, weeks in advance, as Leader McCarthy talked about, that gave telltale signals uh, that could have prevented what happened on January 6th. Well, any time a politician gets caught uh, telling the full truth, it's never good for them. Political analyst Ron Fauché says Scalise being in that room while political narratives continue to swirl just looks bad. It can cast him in a negative light, depending upon how many voters uh, actually see the, the, the videos and understand what's going on. With midterm elections next month, Fauché doesn't think it'll impact Scalise's re-election bid but says it could distance the trust between politicians and the people they serve. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.